Welcome to Wrexham, Andy Cannon. So yes, that is the topic of today's video. We're going to be talking about Wrexham's new signing, Andy Cannon. Before we get into today's video, if you are enjoying these type of videos, everything to do with Wrexham FC, the videos I'm producing, and you haven't subscribed already, please get down there and subscribe. We're on the road to 12,000 subscribers. So if you could help out by clicking the subscribe button, it would honestly mean a lot. So what a brilliant bit of news to wake up on this morning to see that Andy Cannon has signed a two and a half year deal with Wrexham FC. So to quickly cut to the point, this is a terrific signing that Wrexham FC have made, especially for the Van Rama National League and also especially on a permanent transfer as well. I'd have expected maybe a loan until the end of the year, but to get Cannon on a permanent transfer and an undisclosed fee is a real statement of intent from Wrexham. Cannon is a vastly experienced midfielder who has played 15 games for Hull City over two seasons in the Championship, the league below the Premier League. And most notably, he played 63 times across two seasons for League One Giants Portsmouth. So he carries a vast amount of experience in the high leagues of the EFL. Now, I bet the question you're asking, why has he dropped down four leagues to come and play in non-league for Wrexham. Now, new Hull City manager Liam Rossini was expected to slim down his current squad and Cannon was obviously one of the players that he wanted to get rid of. Now, apparently, there was some registration issues with Cannon this season. Obviously, I haven't found enough information to give a factual and professional opinion about it, but according to Hull City fans, there was registration issues with Cannon. So, most of the season, he's been playing for the under-23s. He couldn't travel to Turkey in pre-season, so I don't know what's happened there, but at least he's away from his issues now. And another reason is obviously Rex FC fans were crying out for another midfield of that extra bit of stability in the middle of the park. And now with this signing of Cannon, we've got more than what we hope for. Now we all know the attributes that Cannon does possess. He likes to be on the ball, he likes to create chances, he likes going forward as well as defending and obviously he's a really hard worker in the middle of the field. Now, if you do cast your minds back, not even that long ago, a couple of months, we obviously did get to see a glimpse of what Cannon was all about when he was playing for Stockport County, who he did spend around half a season at last year. We saw him in the FA Trophy semi-final. For me, when I watched the highlights back, you can clearly see the player and the style of play that he does like to play. He was playing more in a defensive role. He was sitting back from the two midfielders in front and he was constantly looking for the ball, making space and wanting to create chances. And I'd also like to say the pull power of Rex FC sort of got him here to the club. And also as well, I just want to do say, apparently Stockport County were after him on a permanent deal in the summer, but obviously things didn't work out there and obviously he's dropped down to Wrexham. So I think that really does say a lot about the club at the minute and how well we can do in grasping players from higher leagues down to our league. Now, our midfield options are plentiful. We've got Cannon, we've got Luke Young, Tom O'Connor, Jordan Davis, Elliot Lee, James Jones. The depth we've got there is amazing and probably I don't sound big-headed, but it's easily the best in the league. Although it sounds silly with the amount of players we had before that, of the quality we had, I still do think as well, and I'm sure any Wrexham fan could agree, we were just missing that one extra player. And I think now, in January, we can turn our heads away from crying out for another midfielder because we've got Cannon probably earlier than we, what we expected to get a midfielder from. He's obviously aware of the brilliant atmosphere that the race course has, as he says in his interview, and hopefully he'll be in line to start against Chesterfield on Tuesday night. What a big game that'll be for him to come into. So, my ideal midfield three at this moment in time, obviously, we've got Jordan Davis out injured, so we can't include him. For me, I would go... Cannon and Young in the midfield and then in the attacker midfield role you'd have to have Elliot Leaf. This was very hard for me to decide on but for me Cannon jumped straight into that lineup. Now surely you can't sign a player who's played in the championship this season five times don't forget and start him on the bench against the likes of Wealdstone, Dorking etc. No disrespect to them but Cannon's played against teams of much higher calibre and obviously he's been keeping his fitness up with the under 23s and obviously with the first teams. That's the main benefit of signing Cannon. We won't have to worry about him regaining his fitness levels. So let me know what you do think of the signing of Andy Cannon. Give it a ranking out of 10 in the comment section down below and as always I'll see you in another video. Take care up the town.